It's John Bowenball. Um, these texts are very important to you. This is about the oil cover-up. I have many a text from SCT that um, have to do with my lawsuit uh, for them wrongfully firing me. Um, but that doesn't really pertain to you guys. Um, but this is very important because I asked uh, my foreman um, from SCT Environmental, and which was there the day that Jason told us to cover up oil, and I asked him, I said, I have a question. Why did Jason tell us to cover up oil? Isn't it his job to clean it up? And I just got to move the screen down a little. All right, can you read that? Okay. I'm actually sitting in the office of Jeffrey Feiger when I'm doing this. Jeffrey says, I need uh, to know if there's anybody else that will verify what happened. And so I text uh, um, his name. We called him Taco. I text him, and surprisingly, he texts me back this information. Um, he said at the time there was a deadline, was trying to meet it. So that's why Jason was telling us to cover up oil. I said it still bothers me that we left oil, or they cover up oil because they had. deadlines to me. I live here. And his reply, which really made me proud of this guy, but also surprised me. He says, I understand. Wait till SCT, which is SCT Environmental, is done, then say something. So he's telling me to report this cover-up. He's just telling me to wait. Then he, here he tells me that he's uh, doing some work with his kids. And he don't want to text me. He wants to talk by phone because he knows that I can use this um, if I ever needed to. And um, he finds out that I was fired, uh, which was the next day. And he says, thanks for telling me um, you're not there anymore. He would have never told me that stuff if he would have known. And then he writes, yeah, but this could cost me my job. Did you think about that? Dude, you have a lawsuit. Um, um, and then he says, him saying anything uh, would be wrong. Um, and then I asked him if he's ever watched my um, videos. And I said, you need to. And then, surprisingly, he asked me to email them to him. Can you e email me them? Um, I can't pull them up on your Facebook. That's because uh, Enbridge somehow um, wanted my Facebook uh, um, pictures and videos um, of them taken off uh, Facebook. So somehow they got it taken out. Um, and problem is I still have them on YouTube and they're going around the country on everybody else's Facebooks. Um, I said tell me what you think. He said I will. Now I have many more texts in between these texts that I've saved and I just don't need to show them because this is what really pertains to the oil cover up. Um, everything else really doesn't matter um, because I don't matter. Um, the community matters, cleaning up the oil matters, and holding EPA and Enbridge responsible for leaving oil or covering up oil, um, that, that is the most important thing. So go ahead and uh, pass these videos around the country, um, but this is just some more proof of what uh, Set Environmental, Enbridge, and EPA is trying to do. Um, this gentleman, the foreman Taco, I nicknamed him Taco, um, he's a great worker, great guy, and if he gets fired, he needs to sue Set Environmental because he did nothing wrong by telling me why Jason told us to cover up oil. Matter of fact, I wish he would have uh, made a legal official complaint. The problem is he's got kids and he's got a family to worry about, and that's why these people don't report this. They're out-of-state workers. This isn't their their backyard. They don't care about us. They do care about the environment, but 
they overlook it because they're getting paid thousands of dollars to do so. Thank you. Pass these videos around, please.